Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about buffering. What causes it? How can we fix it? What we're gonna do today is we're gonna go right into your system. We're gonna find out what the root cause is right now. All right guys, so I know a lot of you guys have some buffering issues. I hear about it all the time. I do read the comments, guys. I realize it is a frustrating thing, especially when you're streaming stuff. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check some things out with you and I want you to follow along and do the steps that I share with you and that'll give you a better understanding of what maybe causes the buffering. Is it your system? Is it your internet? Is it your fire stick? Is it your provider? Is it your VPN? Is it the root source of what you're trying to stream? Hopefully we can find that out today. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a speed test on your Fire Stick. What this is gonna do is it's gonna analyze your Fire Stick. It's gonna find out what your internet speed is and what you're able to stream and not able to stream. So let's do that right now, guys. Go to the very, very top to the magnifying glass and just type in speed test, just like that. And then there's one particular one that I really like that I wanna make sure, oops, I spelled it wrong, that I wanna make sure that everybody uses because it is better. It just shows more information. I know there are some things on this app that cost, so make sure you do not select any of that. But go ahead and type in speed test, just like that. It's this one right here. It's a speed test Wi-Fi analyzer and it will tell you what you can and can't stream, what resolution. And I'll, I will share that with you right now. So let's go ahead and add it to this Fire Stick. And I know me personally, we've been having some Wi-Fi issues in our area and it has slowed down our service significantly, which has caused buffering. And so this will tell me what the deal is. Now, typically I have a Wi-Fi speed of around 350 to 500 depending on the room that the Fire Stick is in, but it's been so slow lately that they're on backup reserves uh, from our internet provider. So I'm curious to see what mine is as well. So go ahead and download it and let's take a look. All right, download is now complete. Go ahead and open it up and let's take a look at it. And uh, our download speed should not be less than 250 at the minimum. Uh, the fact that it's this slow uh, is something that uh, you guys need to look at as well. Maybe resetting your router will speed it up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and go uh, down to our router. I'm going to reset the router and I'm going to redo this speed test and see if that makes any difference. And that may be an option for you as well. To reset your router, all you need to do is just unplug it for 10 seconds, plug it back in, it will reconnect. A lot of times, just having so many devices on it and running constantly, it just tends to do that. So that's our first step. So let's do that right now. All right, guys, so I went ahead and restarted my router, unplugged it for 10 seconds, plugged it back in, and we'll see if we notice a difference. We really want our Fire Stick to have at least 85 to 100 on the download. That's very, very important, especially if you're streaming higher quality like 4K or 1080p video. All right, so let's test it again and see if there's any difference at all. Head over to test again, just like that, and let's check it out. All right, as you can see, it did improve a little bit, but not a lot. So let's go ahead and try another thing to see what's going on with our Fire Stick. The next program you want to have, and I've covered this on some of my other videos, is a way to close background processes. You can go through each individual one and close them, but this will tell you what you have running up at, at all at once right now in the background, and that can also slow it down. So we'll try that, then we'll go back and do another speed test and see if we can improve on that. So head over to the magnifying glass and let's type in background processes right here. Go ahead and click on that and download that onto your device and let's see if we can close those background apps. Just like on a computer, if you're running multiple things it will sometimes slow your system down. So let's see if that has anything to do with it. So let's add it to this device. All right, so I've downloaded it, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's actually running at once right now in the background when you don't even know it. All right, so it is analyzing right now, determining what you have running in the background. I'm guessing at least 10 apps are open right now. And uh, I got it. I actually have eight, so it's not too bad. So let's go ahead and close all of those 
background apps right now and see if that makes a difference in our speed. We're going to keep that one open because that's the one we're running right now and then we're going to force stop that one as well. Another thing we can do is we can start clearing some cache. So let's see what's taking up so much of our cache. So we've done that. Now let's clear some cache so stuff isn't uh, constantly filling up our hard drive. Go to settings. Head over down to, I know this seems like a lot of work but I promise you it's not that hard and if it can improve your experience it's definitely definitely worth it. So let's manage installed applications. Let's just see out of curiosity uh, what the screensaver is taking up. Uh, 74 megabytes right here just by clearing that. So let's just clear that one. We can go through all of them if we want to, but let's just see if we see a difference right now. Go back to your home button and let's go ahead and go over to your speed tester and Wi-Fi analyzer again and let's try it again. See if we can get over 80. If we can get above 80 we can at least stream some things all right, so let's check it out right now. Quick test. <clears throat> All right, so we've improved again. So we've gone three steps up just by doing that. The upload speed actually has, has improved as well. So both sides are improving. All right, but definitely improved at 74. Uh, now there's other ways that you can speed it up. Uh, if you go hardwired, the one downstairs, uh, this number is significantly higher. I would say probably 10 times higher just by plugging it in. Uh, not all routers can handle the faster speeds. Sometimes you just double that or even just get as, as high as 100 depending on your router. Uh, but ours is uh, 850 downstairs. Uh, but this one here is in the furthest room from the router. Right now it's only getting 74. You could still stream, it just won't be quite as fast. So let's see what else we can do. All right guys, welcome back. So I went ahead and restarted the Fire Stick. That's the next step. Once you make some of these changes, sometimes your best step is just to restart your Fire Stick. So I did that, did another speed test, and automatically came up with 93. So it's already improved over 20 megabytes per second. So that really has made a difference. Guys, all these steps help your Fire Stick experience. Now we're able to stream. If you look right here, it'll actually say, show the speed, quality, and strength. I should be able to play any of these right here without any problems. If there are any problems, then you know it's probably not you, it's probably the source. So change the stream. Go to a lower quality stream. Maybe you're watching a 1080p and it's buffering. Head to 720. If you have 720 buffers, go to 480. Keep trying different streams. You'll find one that works good for you. If you're doing sports, if you're doing websites, go to another website. I have a lot of videos on different sports sites and you can actually change between sites and maybe find a better stream because it's probably the source. Again, guys, I wanted to share this with you guys. I hope this helped you out. Hit a thumbs up if you liked the video. Comment down below. Let me know what your speed is. I'm curious. Also, let me know where you're at. That way I can look at maybe finding some content catered towards you and your country with your speed. Maybe I can come up with a solution to help you with your buffering problems. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.